Today we're going to take a look at doing some division problems on our calculator. Often I've seen some students enter a division problem incorrectly into their calculator and even though they're using the calculator, they're getting the wrong quotient because they put it into the calculator incorrectly. So let's take a look at how we would put these problems into a calculator. So here I have the problem 459 thousandths divided by 51 hundredths, okay? If I was going to do long division, I would have to write this out. It's 459 thousandths divided by 51 hundredths, okay? The dividend goes inside the division box, the divisor goes on the outside of the division box. And what some students do often is when they see a problem written like this, when they enter it into their calculator, they enter it as, let me see if you can see it here. They would have entered it as um, 51 hundredths, divided by 4 and 59 thousandths. They would have put it in this way, starting here and moving across. However, that is not the problem that we're doing. We're doing 459 thousandths divided by 51 hundredths. So we need to make sure that we always put the dividend into our calculator first, okay? So that we avoid that big mistake that a lot of students make, okay? So in our calculator, we would put the dividend in first, which would be 0 0.459, okay, 459 thousandths. Then we'd hit the divide by button, the divided button. And then we would be dividing by 51 hundredths, divide by. You don't have to put the zero into the calculator, um, but you can, it's not gonna change the answer. 51 hundredths equals, I've got nine tenths, nine tenths, which is much better than if I put in so I'm just going to write that down, 9 tenths. If I put it in backwards, 51, oops, 51 hundredths divided by 459 thousandths, I get 1 point, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, which is not the correct answer. Okay, and if you find answers like that um, as we do these problems, you get these crazy answers that keep going, 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 on and on. Take a second and stop and think, maybe I made a mistake. Mrs. Forker isn't going to give me problems that are that crazy, <laughs> okay? That's one good way to know that we might have made a mistake here, all right? So let's just double check and see how that would work out if I was doing this problem um, with pencil and paper, okay? So let me write this problem out. So again, we had 459 thousandths and we're dividing it by 51 hundredths. All right, so I see that I have a decimal in my divisor, so I need to move it over. And here I'm moving it over two jumps because it takes two jumps to get to the end of my number. Which means I'm gonna move it over two jumps here. So my decimal point is gonna go um, in between the five and the nine now. So now I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can divide. Well, here I go, I got zero. I can't get any groups of 51. I can't get any groups of 51 from zero. I'm going to move over. Now I have four. Well, I can't get any groups of 51 out of four either. Another zero. 45. Okay, 45. Well, let's see. Um, if I kind of round that to a five, I know five times nine is 45. So I think that I could probably get nine groups um, out of 400. Well, hold on. I can't get any groups of 51 out of 45. I'm ahead of myself. I can't get any groups of 51 out of 45. But then if I look at 459, I can get groups of 51 out of 459. So again, I'm going to think, well, 5 times 9 is 45. So 51 times 9 is probably going to be close to 459. So let's try a 9 here. 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 5 is 45. And when I subtract, I don't have anything left. And here I do. I have nine tenths, um, nine tenths here as my quotient, just like we found in the calculator. Okay, so just like we found the calculator, as long as we're putting our dividend into our calculator first and then dividing by our divisor.